Welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, lifestyle conversations. My name is Oscar Godwin, and I have the energetic Ife Olu Yes, that's me. And Ife Omai. Are you thinking about what we're about to play? What's your, why would you face like that? Like, oh. I don't know. Do you want to share anything with us, Ife? No, something was about to play just yeah, right yeah, before sure the what show. It was. What it was? Yeah. Uh, no, no, we have young children at home. Okay. Uh, wow, you, you already it's told them what PG. it is, actually. PG. Sometimes. Oh. <laughs> it's a family show. Family. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm. Governor of um, Minnesota, Tim Walsh, revealed in a press conference that Jay-Z called him personally to demand justice for George Floyd's death, stating that how Minnesota handles this is going to have an impact across the country. Of course. Yeah. I think we're waiting for someone to act right and someone who has the power to do so. Yeah, and I also like that he said that he got his number from a CNN anchor. It's not like he, they are pals yeah, and then he just yeah. picked up his phone. He actually made an effort yeah. to get the number yeah. and to do the right thing. Yeah. So kudos to Jay-Z. I mean, there's a very big difference between this and Tyler Perry's comment, for example, which is kind of like what I was insinuating this morning, that there's nothing wrong with us advising people to stay safe and like... People are losing their eyes. Did you see that on Twitter? Some what was that lost. smile on your face? <laughs> you okay, fam? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we get it. But move on. It's here, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's mm. here. All right, so... Um, <laughs> hey, we're done. So, um, this just took my mind to our Nigerian celebrities. Instead, they were singing to us on Olu. I just saw Olu git. You know, take a cue from this and... <laughs> Do I'm going to be snapping pictures and just be trying to meet these people when you actually need your contact for um, social good? Please, by all means, reach out to these people. I've never heard anyone say, oh, I called the president, I called the governor, but you guys take pictures with them, you act like you're all cool and everything, but no one has actually addressed anything mm. that is going on in any state that you're cool with the governor. So big shout out, kudos to Jay-Z, and um, this is how it's supposed to be. Go the extra mile to get it done. I saw somewhere today where there were, I think an American web magazine or whatever you want to call them, was saying that, oh, Drake and someone else didn't really do much. And then somebody replied and said, musicians are not leaders. And I that hit me. I think for the first time I was able to give them oh, Finally. I mean, yeah, because okay. like sometimes you, you think that because people have privilege, they will be responsible with that privilege. But I think it's a... No, it doesn't mean they are not responsible. Well, I mean... They, they chose not to be your leader. It doesn't mean they are not responsible. To, to, mm, uh, I disagree. It means you. It did not hit you. No, no. No, I, no, it the reason, you no I disagree because I think that responsibility of privilege is taking up that action. What is a leader? If you think about that, like if you cannot take responsibility for the fact that you have a voice and you have privilege and you've gotten that privilege from the from the public, and you're not going to do anything for that same public. To me, that's irresponsible. But I mean, we can beg to differ. But when I saw that, I kind of realized that yeah, not everyone is an upstanding musician, and everyone. Who has who is interested in like the cry of others? Who can do something about it? Would and I don't know? It just made me kind of like see them in a and say like that. Well, life is just unfair, and not everyone is going to be and as level-headed. Disclaimer: That wasn't a shade to alarm me. That thing have anything to do with? Why are you trying to like? No, no, because come for you no, 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 no. Because I love Alamide and I respect the man a lot. But so. does it, it doesn't yeah. change the fact that he he needs to use his um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not just talking about just with with Olamide. No, some government people would just capitalize. It'll take me out of context. And before I know it, we'll be on Insta If they don't take your content, they, say, they just need to cut out that part. They won't add this part. Trust me. We know how they do but it. at the end of the day, don't take me out of context. It's not about Olamide. Well, it's Why about everything. Like Are you scared? Hmm? Are you? No, I respect Olamide a lot. Mm. And I love that man right there. Mm. No more. Okay, let's go to the next person you respect a lot, and that is Whiskey. He says, President Buhari is clueless. Um, in his, let me put it the way he did. He said, Buhari, Trump, same person, LOL. Um, only difference, be say, one be, once I be used Twitter, past the other. Clueless. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what happened? You're, you respect him, if ah. Okay, so on this one, um, Whiskey is shaking the table. Mm. Hmm. And you kind of prefer him not talking, right? Like, not no, no, but, but what he's saying is kind of the truth. Mm. Mm. You're not going to be worried about this one. I said it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of, I did not say it's the truth. 
So the but Buhari doesn't know how to use Twitter. Though. Yes, oh. now, but that's what I'm saying. But yeah. it's the so, truth. Mm -hmm. But one Sabi used Twitter past the other. Mm. And, um, you know, they say if you want to be... <laughs> no, I won't say that Don't one. Make that <laughs> you know, you know that. I, I, and with the whole um, SSS pick up thing, and we don't have freedom scared, of speech. Man? Yes, fam, I am. <laughs> but you said I'm we not... need to have the heart of a lion and go out there and fight for what we no, want. No, I'm not and... fighting for what I want. I'm dissing the president. <laughs> they are two different, different things. things. Yeah. I think I think they're very different. To be honest, I think Trump is a better president than than. Um, President Muhammad Buhari. Yes, that person. Uh, I think I think so. I think so. I think the only difference is one is a lot more callous with their words and everything. To be honest, I haven't really seen anything. Okay, let me not. Nah, nah, that's not true. I was going to say I've not seen anything detrimental. I've only heard things that are detrimental. But I know some policies that are not very convenient for people of color or for minorities. So that's different. But still, I actually think he's doing something. Like I can see that Trump is actually working. Even for this black community that people keep screaming that he's a racist and whatever. Like you see the things that he has done. Like he's done something. He's not just sitting there tweeting. I don't know what. <laughs> Buhari is doing. He's leading. Um, mm -hmm. okay. They say the way to be a Buhari, just be on top and do nothing. Ah, okay. Um, I, I, for what <coughs> I would say... Um, I said it's a new I think he has, he has, he has <laughs> strong influence that um, this tweet is just, um, just so... Um, what's the word now? I'm looking for the best word. I'm trying not to use lazy, but that's the best mm. I can come. Because like you said, yes, it is not... They don't need to lead us. They are not our leaders. But when you have a level of influence, it comes with responsibilities as well. And I think he has gone to that point where he needs to actually articulate what he wants to say. Because we know what is going on in social media right now. A lot of conversation um, is ongoing from police brutality to rape to injustice to the way COVID-19 is being handled and all that. We know this is definitely off the back of what is going on right now. You could put it in a better way so that we will get your point. Mm. And even the people, um, the government as well, even Buhari, if he stumbles on this tweet, will understand where you're coming from. But right now, this tweet just looks like you just came out to act like a child, really. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think he's doing a better job on Instagram. Um, Who's that? Whiskey. Whiskey, okay. So he posted a picture of Tina. Is Tina the... Yes, Tina. Um, and that was important for me okay. as well. Like, I don't expect everyone, even me personally, you can't come at me for every social ill there mm -hmm. is on this earth. I've definitely picked and choose the ones that I feel like I'm either I have the capacity to really give what it needs or it concerns me. Or I, I like the idea of how I can be part of that solution, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not interested in politics, for example, but I know that there's a need to advocate for that. So I'm not going to sit here and say that every celebrity needs to be on top of every social ill. So I like that at least he's even doing something. I like that too. Um, um, if you're going to be part of the conversation, be part of the conversation. I, but I don't see anything wrong with what Whiskey just said because it's just okay. actually calling us to what we've all... It's stating the obvious. is what we all know. So him coming well, out to say... Well, you can't see her point you can, in the regard that it was a bit like flimsy, yeah. like it was a... Was, you can't like even say Buhari and Trump no, are the same, like, are one and the same. They are not. The only fact in that place is that Buhari doesn't know how to use Twitter. That's the only fact there. So, they are not one and the same. Okay, so you're saying one is working more than the other. Apparently. Like, so which one is working more than the other? <sighs> Since your demigod, which is Whiskey, that's giving us puzzle, you have to solve the puzzle <laughs> for yourself. It's not my demigod. Whiskey is a great musician and I think we're all fans. Back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, back to what I was saying about um, the Tina thing. A lot of people have been saying that, oh, the celebrities are not posting and they're not doing and They're saying that um, there's a level. I don't know if you saw the saying all through the weekend that there's the level of your silence that it becomes betrayal. Then I don't know if you saw the summer boy actor, some British guy that was crying mm. and saying that you can't say it's betrayal, that he was left on the street, stabbed by white people to die. And if he's not talking right now, it, there's a reason for it and all mm. of that. So I think people need to understand that some of these people too cannot speak about most things sometimes, especially if I don't have a proper knowledge about something, I probably wouldn't even want to delve into mm. it. Because okay. if I get a question- There's no time, Sha. Mm. <laughs> Mm, if no, I get a question thrown at me, ah. I want to be able to answer ah, intelligently. Mm, mm, mm. Moving but on. not to post, pic post picture. Sir. Ah, fam. Moving on. Moving on. 
In a new report, Forbes claims Kylie Jenner is no longer a billionaire and she has responded. According to the same Forbes, which declared Jenner the world's youngest self-made billionaire in March 2019, which we actually discussed on Tea Time here and gloated for her. A document obtained from a company which obtained 51% of Kylie Cosmetics in November 2019 shows Jenna's um, business is significantly smaller and less profitable than it has. Um, um, okay, so basically it's not a billionaire company, mm -hmm. long and short of the story. So in her response, she said she thought Forbes to be a reputable site, stating that all she sees are inaccurate statements and unproven assumptions. She went on to say, quote, I am blessed beyond my years. I have a beautiful daughter and a successful business, and I'm doing perfectly fine. I can name a list of 100 things more important right now than fixating on how much money that I have, end of quote. You know, when I saw this post, I was thinking maybe they would see the company is worth two hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars. Still nine hundred thousand dollars is just hundred k short of um, a, a, a billion. It, but so, it, it, still, we're talking about numbers here. There's not. It's no, not like I get. I get it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not disputing that fact. But I was. I was. I was worried for a minute. I think in, in another one year, then she will be back to her. And big, let's wait what's till one then. Year, now, seven, don't give a month somebody, or two. Would you want when, them to give give somebody? Call an, call an apple an apple when it's not an apple. No, that's like, not what I'm I think that it would have been nice if Kylie came out to look at it from a first angle instead of coming out to tell us um, that you, maybe Forbes is not reputable that, anymore because you're no longer a billionaire on their because list. she didn't have that energy she didn't have that all of a sudden it wasn't in the it was in the 100 of list things that she needed to do when she was a billionaire quote unquote and she was Prophesizing that all over her social media and it was relevant to her and she was enjoying she went for the photo shoot. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> she so, even invited them. Sister girl, I uh, understand right. that <laughs> sister it's <girl>. not <laughs> you're not really feeling it like that. That like somebody is uh, addressing your numbers and these are based on assumptions. Well you he, she's been in the news for a very long time in regards to the numbers and I know there's something fishy there if you because you can't really lie with numbers. This is mm -hmm. not I said she said. There's something you know, with the first books. time it came out was when these people came it's, to buy it, mm -hmm. and then we had the conversation on Instagram. Yeah. And we we're like, okay, so before you bought the company, didn't you go through? The and books. now they are coming to prove to you guys yeah. to say we really know what we are saying. We're not just throwing out um, words numbers, to bring yeah. anybody down. And you are responding. Why did you respond initially? Why exactly. is it now? And now trying to make Forbes look like a platform it, it, it that is not reputable. It takes me back to PDD's take. Because I remember we talked about that conversation and it irked me so much. You were like, eh, eh, eh. But when he said, eh, that she's an inspiration and that she's an inspiration to people of color. <sighs> I remember it, it pissed my me to. off. Because it, you it, it, it pissed me off. I'm sorry. But you have to understand like you know where these people are from the type of the type of um success that they have because i can't take it away from her Privilege. but there's different types and they're from different sources let's not drag us in there so now you're you're <laughs> inspirational to the you're, 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 in fact whoa. so kylie does inspire you, uh, hmm. ah i'm just talking about she done Never. <coughs> that what happened? What she was describing about? Anyways, anyways, you are still an inspiration <laughs> to a lot of black women. Andre K. Shaw. Speak for yourself, being, my guy. Speak I'm for you are not even a black woman. woman. So how do you know she's an inspiration to black women? Wait, make sure. Do you have just mention ten people? Now call them right now to verify. One. You don't know. Give, you don't have their give numbers. Me give me any. You don't any. have their numbers. And there's a lot of black women. Why we said this behind the scenes? We're going on a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, are you? A plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is your Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we spill and drink all the tea. Now moving on, the operatives of um, Rapid Response Squad has arrested Salawa Benis 
black millers. A 19-year-old national diploma holder of Yaba College of Technology, Lagos, Olu for work care Oladun Joye Emmanuel was picked up by the decoy team of RRS last week Thursday after three days of trailing him. Mm. Yeah, so we had this conversation yeah, we did. of the nude that is not exactly a nude of our time. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I'm glad that um, they found this boy. It's just sad that he's actually quite a young boy. Quite young. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe juvenile. Juven he's sure. 19, juven so this 17. is not going to juvenile. Oh, wow, he's wow, wow. 19. Hmm? He's 19. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Juvenile is 17. Is, oh, when wow. you're 17 mm -hmm. and right, right. below. I was actually very impressed that they had the resources to even be able to do this. I mean, that proves that there's educated people who know how to use... We have the resources in this country, okay. but it only moves... It just has to be connected. When, there's you know, it connection. affects the people that... Yeah. I see. And either ways, I'm happy that mm -hmm. they were able to track this down because I think it, it, it really puts a good um, impression. Like, well, I get what's the word? When scapegoats, whatever, there's an English for it, forgive me. Um, and then this, so that people are not as... Um, how do I explain that? They're not urged to do it because now there's a consequence for that, if that makes sense. And it's possible for you to catch someone. Mm -hmm. Because like I mentioned that, I mentioned I think a few days ago where we had somebody hack a friend of ours on the phone. Can we phone get these same them. people to get this for This is Shishi. the second time you're interrupting me. You need to allow me to finish, fam. I'm so sorry, fam. So we need to be able to... looking at us like, who are these ones? <laughs> when they're watching your best television, don't so, come and embarrass uh, us. Yeah. Um, it's nice that, you know, there's, they're able to do that. Because I know there's a lot of... Um, internet fraud and all that type of stuff roaming in our environmental. So this is nice to see that, okay, there actually is consequences for people's behaviors, even the, the, despite the fact that they think they can hide behind their phones and do horrible crimes. So I'm happy for her. I'm sure this will give her some kind of closure. Can I talk? Yes, you can. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, for this one, I'm really glad that this guy was caught. I really don't care about his age. If, he, if you can do the crime, then be ready to do the time. That's how I see it. So if you feel like blackmailing, you're still a young guy. So what quick cash are you trying to get? Well, hmm. there are a lot of young guys that are super rich these days, though. But um, So it's not the right way. And especially somebody old enough to give birth to you, that's really disheartening. But at the end of the day, I just hope they tamper... What's it called now? Justice with Mercy. Yes. Mm. Okay, for me, when I said I was um, sad for him, it's not. I'm not saying he shouldn't um, do the time after doing the crime. It was just um, worrying that somebody of that age would be thinking of blackmailing yeah. a woman, like he said, that's old enough to be his grandmother, not even just his <clears throat> mother. So it's yeah. sad. And he just, I just wonder the kind of upbringing he had. Do you buy the, the story of how he found the memory card? I didn't. Like, if you I, didn't. They, should, they should get more they information should investigate. on that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You don't like, think you, just, like, you could just stumble on a memory card? I think it's oh, possible. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think it's possible. Android uh -uh. Jesus. Well, sorry. On sorry. On the floor. Android Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anybody on that team? Just... Uh, huh? No, no. Mm -mm. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Well, memory, memory card. card okay, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my phone doesn't even have a memory card slot. Why well, he has a slot for what, right? It doesn't even have a memory card slot. Yeah, so does mm. it. Use. It's, I, the memory um, is large <laughs> enough. That's when you buy cheap Android Techno phones. Techno cloud. What does it use? Huh? <laughs> is it Techno cloud? <laughs> it was Techno cloud. Okay. Um, I don't use a Techno phone. I know I'm chipping. Uh. You better be. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and thank you for having fun with us. You can send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906057519 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as usual will go to my amazing co anchor Sife Omai and Ife Oluwa Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.